What does it mean to be a veteran? When you think of the word veteran, do you think of words like bravery, strength, honor? What do you think of when you think of a veteran? But a lot of times now you see veterans on the road, homeless. You see veterans not getting enough benefits, not getting enough help. That's not good. In my opinion, veterans are everything. Without veterans, we would not be where we are today in America. So there are a few ways that veterans can be honored, and the government has done that through benefits within the VA. So we're going to talk about the benefits of VA and how veterans can be helped through their health care needs through the VA with Care at Home. Let's go. In this video, we're gonna break down three things. We're gonna define what a veteran is. We're gonna also explain what benefits do veterans have underneath the VA. And then lastly, how do you get started with those benefits and how do you get the ball rolling? Okay, so let's define the word veteran. What does it mean to be a veteran? Being a veteran means that you served as a member of the military through either the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Reserves, or the National Guard. All of these military services allow for you to be called a veteran if you have served and have honorably discharged from those services. All right, so what is the VA? Well, the VA is defined as the United States Department of Veteran Affairs. It's an agency of the federal government that provides benefits, health care to military veterans. If you are a veteran, you need to be registered with the VA. It's a benefit. All right, so now that you understand who a veteran is and then you also understand what the VA is, how do you get started or how do you know if your loved one that's a veteran or you yourself as a veteran, how do you know if you're in the system? So here's a quick thing for you to do. The first thing you need to do is actually reach out to the VA and ask if they are a registered veteran. All you need to do is have your full name, date of birth and the last four of your social security number and an ID. You can actually call the VA or depending on where you're at or what region or you can visit your local VA hospital. They will see if your loved one or yourself is registered in the VA. That's the first step. Now if you find out that your loved one is not registered in the VA, it's actually very simple. There's a form. It's called the VA Form 1010EZ. All you need to do is fill out section 1 two and three and then submit that form to the VA with proof of ID. Okay so now if your loved one is registered what all can you get underneath the VA? So here's a list of things, a list of items and benefits that veterans can get. Health benefits, financial benefits, housing benefits, educational benefits, social benefits, and transportation benefits. Now it all depends on what specifically your loved one or your veteran needs or you yourself needs, but these are all the things that you can actually get underneath the VA. So now once you're registered with the VA, you can actually visit your local outpatient VA clinic and get set up with a doctor's appointment to actually get those benefits that you need. Now within all those benefits, there are some services that you can actually get. So the VA is broken down into two main categories when it comes to care at home. Respite care and homemaker services, which is non-skilled care, and then you have skilled care. So now, depending on the need of the veteran, once you are in the VA and you actually can receive VA benefits, you go to your local VA, and then your local VA outpatient clinic, the doctor will actually send a referral and then register a case manager to be assigned to you. That case manager will then deem X amount of hours or X amount of services underneath those two branches for you to actually receive those, that care at home. It's a beautiful benefit, but a lot of times it's confusing. We have another video that can walk you in detail, step by step, on how to get those services, but this is just a really quick summary. That's it for the VA in terms of care services at home. We hope this helped you. Please like and subscribe, and we have several more videos that you can watch to get more information to help you or your loved one, especially if they're a veteran. God bless.